everybody. Today we have HP 17 BY series laptop. It's an Intel Core i5 11th gen. Let's take it apart. Let's see what we can fix, upgrade, replace. Let's start. So let's start with unscrewing all the screws from the bottom. Some of them are hidden under the rubber foot and on the, under the other one as well. So check all of them. As after you have all the screws out, then you can take out the optical drive. That's our drive. It can be replaced if it doesn't work. Here we have the part number. Then we have another two screws for the bezel under the optical drive. So take out these. And now we can separate our bottom cover from the palm rest. So we have to find a gap where you can put the prying tool in between and start separating these two parts. Use plastic part, otherwise you will scratch your parts. Okay, so our bottom case is out. Here we have the part number. Mm. Now we have access to all the internal components. Let's start with taking out the battery. So unscrew all the screws for the battery. Now we can take it out. Here we have the part number. So if your laptop doesn't hold the charge or the battery is swollen, you can replace it. Now we have access to our memory. Memory, it's not soldered, so we can take it out and replace it or upgrade it. That the, that's the DDR4 memory. So we can take out both. Now we can take out our I.O. board. Uh, maybe let's start with the heatsink and the cooling fan. So if your cooling is bad, laptop overheats or the fan makes grinding noise, you can replace these two parts. So take out all the screws and plug the fan from the motherboard. And now we can take it out. That's our cooling fan. And here we have the heat sink. Be careful, don't bend it. It will not work if you bend it. Here we have the part number. Now we can take out our Wi-Fi card. So start with disconnecting the antenna. Now unscrew one screw and you can take out the Wi-Fi card. Here we have the part number. Let's take out all the screws for the motherboard and let's disconnect all the connectors. We will be pulling out the motherboard. So let's start with disconnecting the touchpad cables, keyboard cable, our optical drive connector. Uh, that's a hard drive connector. Here we have the optical drive. Connect the speaker. And the video cable. Here we have the DC power jack. Let's 
this is connected. Okay, now we can take out the screws. the battery connector disconnect the IO board and that's our motherboard here we have the part number and that's also the part number on this side the processor is soldered on the motherboard, so we cannot replace it. If it doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. So now we can take out our I.O. board. It has the USB port, so if your port doesn't work or it's physically broken, replace this part. And that's our card reader also. Now let's take out our speakers. So if your sound is bad, you can replace the speaker. Let's see. So those are our speakers. Now let's unscrew the hinge. We'll be taking out the LCD, but under the hinge we have the DC power jack. So you can replace it if your laptop doesn't get, is not getting the power from the AC adapter. And replace the DC jack. So unfold the hinge. Now we can disconnect it. So that's our DC power jack. part numbers on that green sticker. Now we have our palm rest touchpad assembly left. The keyboard is riveted to the palm rest, so you cannot replace it. Touchpad is glued in the, into the palm rest, so you cannot replace You have to buy the whole part. That's how usually they sell it. If you need parts, check gatlaptopparts.com. And here we have our screen left. Here we have the part number, model number on the video cable. Screen is usually sold in one piece. It's very fragile, so it's easier to replace it this way. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.